What's going on? You filthy animals. Gabe here with Bubby Dork, and we are going to talk about NVIDIA because everyone wants to know, can NVIDIA hit $400 by the end of this year? Especially those who are playing contracts. You're playing contracts, you're like, oh, is this possible? Because those contracts look juicy and the profit potential incredible. And I like to say we print green. Well, get more ink in your green cartridge printer because we're printing here. Let's look at NVIDIA on the intraday, the one minute chart, Applejack's cue me here. We have NVIDIA trading over the 50 period moving average, most importantly over VWAP. Now VWAP is where institutions like to dump their money when the price breaks below. This is uh, basically them saying like, hey, we got a good deal on this, right? We got a very good deal on the price. So when it breaks above VWAP, we all know bullish. Let's go ahead and look at the four hour here because I have this wedge and this was plotted several days ago and we broke to the upside on this wedge here. Absolutely bullish. Stock invest. Absolutely bullish. Given the current short term trend, the stock is expected to rise 43% during the next three months. And with a 90% probability hold, holding a price between 384 and 495 at the end of this three month period. So I know a lot of you are like, well, I'm going to go ahead and buy some leaps and leaps are usually safe option bets. You're going to pay more in a premium guys, but your win rate is going to be super high. We're talking 80 plus percent and leaps are six month contracts and beyond, right? Yes. Very, very bullish, but we have to look at the chart here. There's some areas that I want you to pay attention to. And we go all the way back to November 17th and over a span of 12 hours, because we are on the four hour daily, we could see that Nvidia ran nearly $35. From let's say 291, 292, all the way up to 325. This is a 35 plus dollar move. NVIDIA shows that it's capable of doing this. Another point of interest, we go all the way back to November 4th. And we could see here from at or about 271 to the very high of this wick here. Let's just say that that is uh, 313. That is a $43 move in eight hours. This is telling us NVIDIA has legs and people have bullish sentiment towards the stock. This thing is a titan. So let's look at the weekly here now. Yeah, we see the MACD, absolutely bullish. RSI, definitely overbought. But let's look at the ATR here or average true range on a weekly. Now the average true range gives you the range of which the stock moves over a period of time. We're currently on the weekly and we see that Nvidia can move about $24 on average in a week. Now let's go ahead and put Nvidia in a vacuum here and say over the next couple of weeks, the net gain on Nvidia for the week would be $17. Over three weeks, we could be already seeing 380. I can tell you guys that despite Omicron or the next COVID variant or the next thing, I feel like NVIDIA is just COVID proof. They are a mainstay. Their components are in autonomous vehicles. Their components are in AI. Their components are in metaverse. They're, they're in our, our, our PCs and we're going to need them. <laughs> like they are in our lives. No different than Aunt Anna at a family reunion is all up in your life asking you questions about your ex-girlfriend saying she was such a great girl. But you're like, Auntie Anna, she was a hooker. Ah, but she was still such a sweet gal. <laughs> she was until she took all my money. NVIDIA is just a powerhouse. So is Andy. I feel like tech stocks are where it's at. And I know a lot of you are like, hey, but what about the treasury yield? Because people get nervous when the treasury yield goes up and tech stocks are just ultra sensitive to rising interest rates. I feel like we've seen the peak at 1.67%. And ideally, they would probably begin their decline or even flatline throughout December. So. I'm very bullish on NVIDIA. That average true range just has my tits jacked. And for those who are playing options, it gives you more of like a target number, right? So you're not overextending yourself and you're making sure that you're hitting 
your target price by expiration date. Anyways, guys, this is Gabe with Review Dork. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. I'm signing out. Peace.